that I've been stopped for and it has blown an absolute hell out of sight so I thought I'd do a video inside just to make things a little bit more clearer. I apologise if there's any miscommunication with the shutter. I've not actually owned the shutter because the rain's flying and I don't want to get soaked. I've just had a shower, I don't want to have another one. So the, the first thing that I'm going to talk about today is obviously I've not really done many videos recently. It's just because of the weather and everything else going on. So I'm going to start start doing more videos now. And the thing that I'm going to talk about today is four main tips to help improve your game. So first thing that I'm going to talk about is controlling your temper. So it's important that you are able to control your temper on the golf course. So the moment that you get um, angry over a shot, you're not actually fully concentrating on the next shot. Okay? So a good a good thing that Tiger Woods used to do when he was on the golf course to control his temper. If he had a bad shot, he would forget it ten seconds after um, after he performed the shot. Okay, so that you've got to use that discipline and use that basically that line that line to just forget about it. Okay, so. Too many golfers that are on the golf course and they, let's say they have a bad shot on the first tee and they're really angry, they're really irate and the score's done by the, the second tee because they're, they're just fed up with it and then they lose interest. So it's important just to try and treat every shot as, as, as a, as a relaxed man. Okay? So the, first, the first thing I'm going to, the second thing I'm going to talk about is treating each shot carefully. So. You've got to have, or you've got to adhere to a specific plan. So, um, where am I aiming? The distance, the yardage, the, the wind, the lie, everything, any in external factors out with the shot that you need to get set up when you're getting the golf ball. Okay. So, uh, in order for you to do that, so if you're focusing on, let's say, a target, okay, where I need to line the club face up to that target, so an intermediate target, for example, and I need to focus on that intermediate going over that intermediate target. The second thing, oh, sorry, the, the second thing I talked about was obviously on a specific plan. Don't always, don't always uh, rush and try and get the shot finished as quickly as possible. So ha have your own method. So have your own method. E evaluate the lie correctly as you get over the top of the golf ball. Make sure that you can only produce okay different golf courses. Okay. So you need to play different golf courses. Sorry, I'm just going to turn the camera around here because it's absolutely blown a hilly. So, too many golfers that get fed up playing on their home course because they're not used to playing different, different conditions and different, uh, just basically a different surrounding. Because, for example, a lot of guys at the Eagles Golf Club are getting fed up playing with the first four holes, or get fed up playing with the first four holes because they're always on a high score after that. So, if, if you are happy with your game, play different golf courses just to, just to get out of the, that rut of not enjoying the golf at all, okay? So, once you obviously play different golf courses, you, you get an idea to play a variety of shots, you get, you get into a habit of playing different types of shots, different trajectories. Different shots that you've never played around here because too many people get into a habit of playing the same shot all the time, and that's where they make the same mistake shot after shot with that that shot they're trying to produce. So that's the third tip. The fourth tip I'm going to have to talk about is have your own method. Okay, so don't always copy everyone else's method. So, for example, um, I'll hit three wood off the second over here. And a lot of golfers, let's say, they hit three wood as well, so it's a copy. It's, it's, it's a good mechanism to have copying somebody, but it's have your own method. So if you're struggling, let's say, if you're struggling to reach the top nine with a good score, then restart, recharge your batteries on the back nine, and then obviously start again and just try and consider any, any other things that you're thinking. Obviously, that, the one swing thought that I've got that. It's, it, it's very different to other people. Is what, what I like to think about is it's something completely inordinary. I, I, I honestly like to think about what I'm having for my tea when I'm over the golf shop because I'm not, I'm obviously, if I'm thinking about my tea, then I'm not necessarily thinking about the mechanics of the swing, okay? So the moment that you start thinking anything technical about the swing, I mean, I didn't say you have to think about what if you're having fish and chips for your tea or, or a chicken sandwich meal or a happy meal. So it's important just to try and th find your own way and just to try and get your own swing thoughts into your head, okay? So it might be swinging 80%, it might be, like say Lou used to and put a dot when he went the, the, the open by like eight shots in 2010, he put a dot on his, his left 
um, his left hand on his grip, so if he ever had a bad shot, he'd go to that dot and he just remembered he was back in the zone, okay? So four tips to think about, if you're, four metal tips to think about and techniques to think about or to consider when you're on the golf course and you're struggling. So any thoughts in that video? If you've got any other topics you want me to discuss, uh, comment them below and make sure that you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel at gmail.